Hello, thank you for joining us this morning for a pre-recorded 25-minute workout. I'm Melody, one of the personal trainers here. We so miss seeing your smiling faces, but we're going to do the best we can to help keep you moving. A couple of things. We have great equipment here that you're not going to have at home, but you could be really creative. A bucket of rocks would work as a uh, like a dumbbell. You could put rice in a sock for a dumbbell. You can use an inner tube tire for um, resistance. Um, just put on your thinking caps, figure out how you can use what you have at home in order to be able to duplicate the workouts. A jug of laundry detergent, um, just lots of things, gallon of milk. So. Please join us as we spend a little bit of time doing a workout. First and foremost, your form and your safety are of utmost importance. So be sure that you're doing things like keeping your core tight, shoulders back and down, and if anything hurts at any time, please stop. So with that, we're going to get started. Today I'm going to do three body parts. It's a 25 minute workout, so I'm going to split it into body parts. We're going to do legs, back, and biceps. So let's get started. We're going to do repetitions of eight, three sets of eight. You can increase it to 10, 12, 15, whatever meets your fitness needs. So let's get started. You're going to find something that you can hang on to. You're going to place one leg on the ground. You're going to lift the other one in a squat position. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Make sure in your positioning that you're keeping your knee over your second toe. So let's go for the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want a little more challenge, you can do a one-legged squat onto a chair. Let's go for set two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The goal is slow and controlled so you don't need to rush through these ready one two three four five six seven eight short break and we'll go to set three Realign, core tight, shoulders back and down. For set three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last set. Ready, again, check your form, knee over your second toe, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Like I said, if you need a little bit more, you can certainly go on and do additional 
sets. So for the next one, we're gonna do a side lunge. You can do it with no props, or you can do it using a step to make it a little bit more difficult. So you're gonna start with reach out and lunge. Reach out and lunge. If you want a little more, step over and lunge. Step over and lunge. You can use anything that's not gonna scoot. So a step, whatever you can find that you can elevate a little bit more. So let's go on with set one. Ready, go. One. Two. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. For the second set, we'll do it without the platform. So the first exercise, we worked your quads. Now we're working your abductor, adductors and abductors. Set two, ready, go. One. Two. Three, again, core tight. Shoulders back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good job. So by now, your quads have been worked out, your abs and adds have been worked out. Let's go to a glute bridge. So with this, if you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna bring your glutes up, and you're gonna hold it. You'll feel tension in your hamstrings and your glutes. So let's hold it for five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and down. Again, two, two, three, four, five, down. Three, two, three, four, five, down. Five, two, three, four, five. Six, two, three, four, five. Seven, two, three, four, five. Eight, two, three, four, five, and release. For the next set, we're gonna hold it a little bit longer. We're gonna hold it to a count of 10. So, ready, let's go. Knees bent, raise your glutes. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're not feeling it, squeeze your glutes tighter, raise your hips more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last one in this set, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's stretch it out a little bit. We're gonna go back in and do the third set. Ready, set three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, two, three, four. Four. Keep them tight. Raise your hips a little higher. Squeeze your glutes. Six, two, three. Keep it going. You've got this. Seven, only two more, keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one, give it your best. Squeeze the glutes, pull your hips up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, shake it out. So we've done your glutes, we've done your abductors, your adductors, and your quads. So the next one is just kind of a fun, we're gonna do a little cardio, a little balance, and gonna make you think about this one. So we're gonna step up so you can do a step into your house, whatever you have, that you might be able to use to step up. So for the first set, we're just gonna step up. For the second set, we're gonna add a little bit more concentration to it. So you're gonna step up and down. That was one. Two. Three. All 
alternate feed. That's where the brain comes in. Five. As you can tell, you're also using your balance. Seven. Eight. Again, if you would like more repetitions, you can pause it here and go to 10, 12, 15 reps. So when you're landing on the step, your body alignment's important. You want it to be straight from your hip to your knee to your second toe. Again, if anything is uncomfortable, stop. So this one, we're gonna up the ante we're gonna have you add a little bit of weight. So you lift up one foot, one hand, and you raise the knee and back down. Same foot, same hand, and up. One. Two. Three. Four, core tight, shoulders back. Is that four or five? We'll call it four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nice job. Give the shoulders a little bit of a roll. Stretch out your hamstrings a little bit. We're gonna go back to set three. Just a little word about hamstrings and stretching. Things we're doing right now are different from what we normally do. So I encourage you to continue stretching, foam rolling, whatever you do to keep your muscles stretched out. Also, make sure that you're getting plenty of rest, plenty of fluids, eating well, practice the good hygiene that you know you're supposed to, and just take care of each other. Let's go for set three. Ready, one. Two. Tummy tight. Three. Four. Five. Shoulders back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nice job. That's the end of the legs. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some biceps. You can do all sorts of biceps. For this one, we're just gonna start with a set of biceps. We're gonna count up, fast, down, slow. So it's gonna be eight of each. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Core tight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, eight, two, three, four, five, six, the reverse. Up slow, fast down. 
So the speed of your workout can make a lot of difference in how effective it is. So this time, we're gonna go up slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, down, two, two, three, four, five, six, down, three, two, three, four, five, six, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six. Trainers can't count, so if I got off, please count your own. Two, three, four, five, six. It was eight. Take a second. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go up slow, down fast. Gonna go a little faster on this. So we're only gonna count to four. Ready, shoulders back, shoulders down, core tight. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Five, two, three, four. Six, two, three, four. Nice job, stick with it. Two, three, four, eight. Two, three, four. Slow up. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, last one, two, three, four. These are only five pound weights, but by going slow, you get a lot more effort out of it. So again, tummy tight, knees soft, leg shoulders, legs shoulder width apart, shoulders back and down. Let's go. Up fast, down slow. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Five, two, three, four. Six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, up slow. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Elbows next to your body. Two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. I hope your arms are starting to burn because mine are. So the next exercise we're gonna do is called an inchworm. It's listed in the back, bicep, shoulder, tricep, abs, every single muscle group. Right now we're gonna use it for bicep. Sorry. Okay. So you're gonna start, hands on the floor in front of you. You're gonna work your way out and you're gonna come back in. Okay, let's go. We're gonna do eight. One. Core tight. Let's 
three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So I'd say take a break right here, pause the video, go in and do two more sets of eight yourself. I have one more muscle group I'd like for us to get through, and that is the back. So we're going to start with a kneeling row. So find a step, a couch, something where you can get one knee up, one foot down. The goal is to be straight from your head to your hips and from shoulder to shoulder. So let's go. We're gonna do eight. One, two, head slightly ahead. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As always, keep your core tight. A little bit higher platform would be better. Ready? Two. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Body right over your, this arm should be right under your shoulder. Two. Two. Last set, let's go. Last eight, come on, stick with it. We're almost done with this workout. Six, seven, eight. Nice job. The next exercise is a bird dog. It's used for a core, but also your back. So you're going to start with your hands right under your shoulders, and you're going to alternate. Believe me, I've tried going one side at a time. It doesn't work. So to get started, if you haven't done them before, one foot up, one arm out. I count to five. Switch. Keep that core tight or you're gonna tip over. Keep the core engaged. The best way to avoid back pain is to keep your core tight, keep it engaged all the time. If you're not sure what that means, feel like you're pulling your belly button to your spine. back into child's pose and just relax for a moment. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. 
back for set two. We're gonna hold it out a little bit longer. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. Two, two, three, four, five. Three, two, three, four, five. Four, two, three, four, five. Five, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, four, five, eight, two, three, four, five. Now, if you want to turn this into more of a core exercise, you can bring a knee and an elbow together. So we're almost out of time for this session. About one more area we're going to work with with every one of my workouts is going to be your core. So one of the best core things you can work on is a plank. You can do it in all sorts of different ways. This time, we're going to do a plank, and you're going to tap your shoulder in between. You can do it from all the way up. To here. So you pick the level that works for you. Let's go for 16, which is eight on each side. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Short break. So child's pose, you can go to cat and cow to also stretch out your back. Let's go back for a plank with the shoulder tap twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One more set, and we'll be done with this session. We're all looking forward to having you come back in. Hope we can just give a little bit of encouragement to you, help you to remember to keep exercising, keep doing all the healthy things you do all year round. We appreciate you. Thanks for coming in and watching this session. We have one more set. Last set of shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Thank you so much. Don't forget to stretch. Take care. Be safe. See you soon.